Hi, this is Growing Wisdom. We've been filming with Scott LaFleur at Garden in the Woods today, and you know, we're just about done. This is how these things happen. And I said, Scott, what is that late blooming phlox with no mildew? Let's do another video. So we're gonna do another video. T tell me about this. This is called Phlox paniculata jenna. And this was found growing in a stand of other phlox that covered with powdery mildew, but this one didn't have any. It also had these really unique smaller flowers to it. So it's actually a naturally occurring hybrid that was pulled out and put into plant production. And now you can get this at here Garden in the Woods or at other garden centers as well. And do they all bloom so late? I mean, here we are, we're in early October and this guy's still going. Yeah, it's definitely a very late bloomer as far as the Phlox paniculata go. And there's a range with Phlox paniculata from early bloomers to very late. And this one definitely falls in the very late end. And speaking of late, there's a couple of other things in this bed that you happen to point out that you like. So yeah, tell I, me about those two. I think they make great companions. We have the blue wood aster, which is a dry shade growing wood aster, which is fantastic late bloomer and then we also have over here the casmanthium latifolium the northern sea oats which is just beautiful with the, the lower sun this time of year the way it hits these dangling oats it really kind of makes them sparkle and shine and they look great as they start to get more browned out as well all three of these sort of similar conditions correct so yep. they could all be planted near each other yes as absolutely. they are here absolutely. at garden in the woods correct <laughs> well there you go three other plants for some great fall color and fall interest and i bet that sea oats even looks good in the winter it makes a great cut flower too Awesome. Well, thanks, Scott. And uh, I'm going to get this phlox. This is a great phlox. No mildew. You don't have to treat it. Come back every week for all of our tips, hints, and helps here at Growing Wisdom.